Hi Virgos, this is Terribly Accurate. Thank you for tuning in. This is your general reading for July 17th through August 17th. And so it covers for um, anyone who has Virgo in their chart, in their sun, their moon, or their rising sign, um, your career, your money, your home, your friendships, and then your love life as well. Kind of gives you a month-long snapshot. Snapshot. Did I say Snapchat? I don't even have Snapchat. Snapshot of what you're doing. Um... One thing I wanted to say that I'm doing a little different is it's kind of random the way that I put the videos out there for you, but I've noticed that those who are having the crappiest time, whichever sign it is every month, I can always tell because it has the most views. So I'm going to start releasing them in order of um, who needs the help the most. So um, if your video didn't have a lot of views last month, then it will probably come out a little bit later than the rest of them, but I usually get them out over a day or two. So Virgos... That makes you first. Um, and it's funny as I say that and we're shuffling the cards here that it's like just things aren't fair right now. So yeah, I mean obviously that makes makes it hard. Uh, what can we expect though this month for Virgos? Sun, moon, and rising. And I forgot to mention, um, if this is your first time watching, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate that. I hope you like the videos. And if you've been liking my videos, if you've been sharing them, if you're subscribed, to them. I also appreciate that very much. That's why I continue to do them. Okay. So truth is coming out. I think this is you being able to speak your truth, know what it is that you stand for, what it is that you want, and to communicate very clearly and effectively. Um, this is the master communicator card in the deck. So you might have been waiting. You might have been resting, really thinking your thoughts, getting them in order before you go out and say anything. Um, but now is not a time to rest. Now is the time this month to definitely um, tell people what your thoughts are and um, be very firm in that. Okay. So in regards to your career and your money, what do we have for July 17th through August 17th for Virgos? The moon. So you're kind of being led with your natural intuition in the right way, but there's something that makes you feel suspicious and not so sure about it. Um, so you have to stay focused, though. Stay really, really focused on what it is that you're after, what it is that you want, and really pay attention um, to, you know, you have the moon and the sun. So the sun is like all of your happiness. See all that happiness there? What it is that you want. The moon is guiding you. That's your natural intuition and your feelings here. Um, so you're coming from a place following your feelings, this trail, right, across um, the earth. And, you know, you have distractions along the way. And you might go, oh, I don't know if this is the right thing or not. But it is. Okay. Um, what else do we have in regards to your career and your money? Oh, contracts. Now, some of you, for me, um, this card is often the marriage card, but it could also be about wills. It could be about um, inheritances, things like that. But it's like signing documents or um, preparing documents for people. Um, like usually, this could be a business partnership as well. It could be like a marriage, um, especially because we're talking about career right now. It could be like a marriage of two companies. It could be something like that. But it's putting... Um, things in writing, okay? That's what I see for you this month. Um, there might be somebody who isn't as emotionally invested in this, though, as you are in, like, you and your business partner or your partner, um, like your romantic match, whoever this is, um, might be asking for this person to help. And you might feel like, oh, they're not going to do a good job, like, they're not you know, emotionally invested, but go ahead and do it anyway. You don't have to use that person. Um, you guys can do it on your own. So what else for career and money? King of Wands. So remember when we were talking about suspicion, how you're following your intuition, but then there's things that kind of make you second guess yourself a little bit. Um, you might be just not very confident right now in your abilities, in your creativity. Um, you might not be feeling, like if you're in sales, you don't feel particularly charismatic this month. And those are related because it's almost like a lack of confidence and that's what causes that suspicion. But just follow your natural intuition with all of that, okay? And you can feel confident as you're securing things anyway, right? 
you're putting things in writing. So you should feel pretty confident. No need to feel that way, Virgos. So what's going on in your home life and then also in your close friendships for July 17th? through August 17th. We had two come out face down. Um, oh, the full card. This is really fun. You could be making new friends. You could be going on adventures. You could be trying new things. Um, this is kind of really almost the opposite. Not I, Well, I guess we can't call it the opposite. But it's also trusting your intuition, but doing it with blind faith. You know, like just Closing your eyes and believing that everything is going to work out. And this makes sense that it would show up here instead of in career and money because we're more um, apt to take risks with our friendships and things like that um, when they're new, you know, like creating new friendships and things like that. So it's kind of just having a good time and um, going out there and doing things that are fun and just having faith that they're right and they'll bring you blessings. Awesome. Now here's the thing about that is that by doing so, you have a lot going on with your day-to-day -day life, with your stability, with your money, okay? So this is about your home life, right? So by doing that, by having that attitude, you're going to have a lot of happiness. Look at all of this yellow, okay? But then it's like somebody's coming towards you. You're the fool. They're coming towards you with an offer of stability. So if we're talking backwards about the... Um, Three of Pentacles card, that might be somebody saying, let's sign a lease together. Um, it could be a friendship. It could be a romantic partner. That could be somebody saying, hey, let's get married. You know, it creates stability. It could also be somebody um, coming in and saying, hey, um, let me invest in your company. Like, let's do this. Let's open a restaurant together. Something like that. But because this is your home environment and your close friendships, it wouldn't be a stranger, okay? But either way, this is going to make you very happy. This is someone taking an action um, towards you, and you're both very happy about it. A lot of blessings there with that, okay? What else in regards to your home life? Oh, look at that. The sun. Everything's happy, happy, happy. It doesn't get happier than that, right? Like, that sun is radiating, it, and there's sunflowers, and like you're you know, sunflowers, they turn towards the sun, so that's what you're doing. You're just choosing to be happy. And by choosing to be happy, you are happy. Great. Good, Virgos. Um, what else were we doing? Love. Whoa. Generally speaking, for love, some people are... So, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, what a lot of you are doing is narrow focusing in on your love relationships or on um, the lack thereof, okay? You're not expanding your horizons. You're kind of looking in the same place that you always have. Now, some interesting things are popping out here. <laughs> um, some of you, it's almost like a pity party, you know? Like, you're staying, let's just do these together because I just about started talking about this card, because they're relative, okay, these are very similar. Where, with the devil card, these people, they're chained, right? They're tied. They're tied to a situation, to an idea, even to each other. Could be a relationship, too. And, you know, it's the devil. Like, they know that this is crap. They know it's not healthy. It's not where they should be. But there's something fun about it, and that's why they stay. Um, I often use smoking as an analogy, where it's like, you know, it's bad for your lungs. It turns them black. You could get cancer from it. But there's something fun about it, and that's why you do it. It's fun to meet new people on the smoking patio. It's fun to take time off of work and have an excuse to do it. You know, like those 15 minutes where non-smokers, they don't get to do that. They don't get to just, like, walk away from their desk and stay gone without an excuse. It's something like that. Like, you know that it's bad, but you choose to do it anyway because there's an element of fun, something you like about it. Okay? Um... Maybe even something you love about it. Sometimes you love a person, but you don't love the way that they treat you, right? Something like that. Now, this person, she's standing here, and it's sort of the same concept, where she's blindfolded, and she's tied down, um, and she can escape, because it's not even tied that tight. She just slide her arms right out, pull that blindfold off of her, and see all of this truth, right? All, all of these thoughts, she could acknowledge them and do something about it, but she doesn't. She stands there in a puddle. Her feet are getting wet. 
but not in a good way. So, because you know, water is emotions, but that looks like mud. It's not like clean, happy water. So I'm just saying, you don't have to stay where you're at. And so if this is like a really icky, like abusive or codependent relationship, you can leave if you want and you know that, but you're not. Um, if, it is, if it doesn't apply to you that way because you're single, it could be a mindset. Because, and I feel like for a lot of you, it's more going to be a mindset. It could be both. It could be your mindset is totally jacked in a crappy relationship, you know, but it could also just be your mindset. It could be like you're stuck in a certain way of thinking and it's a blockage in your life and why you're not able to attract in um, a better love relationship or a love relationship at all. Okay. So now let's break this down into singles and couples. So what do we have for Virgo singles, July 17th through August 17th? So the good news is that those of you who are single are not really throwing yourself a pity party. It's kind of like you've decided instead of being sad about the lack to be thankful for what you have. So when you're single, instead of being like, oh, I don't have a partner, like I don't have someone to bring me hot Cheetos on their way home from work or whatever, because that's hard. Like sometimes you want hot Cheetos and you're too lazy to go. At least that's my struggle. But, you know, over here, you could be thankful that you have freedom, right? That you don't have somebody... Um, whining about where are you what are you doing why aren't you paying attention to me like you can do whatever you want you can sample the pool you can date lots of people you can date one pe person I mean is what it is so that's really good you're you're taking the right approach you're taking the right attitude oh my goodness this jumped out so for some of you maybe this is for one of you maybe this is for all of you I don't feel like it's for all of you but I feel like it's for a good chunk of you like 30%. So I hope that you're in that 30%. I hope that I'm wrong. I hope it's 100%. The point is, this could be a month where you meet your soulmate. This is the soulmate card. This is bigger than the lover's card. The lover's card means, you know, like lovers. It does. I mean, there's love there. And there's a really good sex. But when as you get older, and sex becomes less of an issue, or kind of a not really an issue because certain body parts don't work right what's important is that deep emotional connection like the ability to carry forward a conversation and enjoy each other's company outside of the bedroom and that's what you have with the two of cups now some people will argue and say well that's not right like it's not the soulmate card because it's a minor arcana card and you know the lovers is like a forever card but everybody reads cards differently this is the way I read it a lot of readers read it this way but that's the way I read it. This is your soulmate card. So some of you might meet that person. And if you don't, this could just, like sometimes your soulmate, we have multiple soulmates, okay? Sometimes your soulmate is your lover, but sometimes you also have a soulmate who is your best friend. You know, your soulmate doesn't have to be um, somebody that you're romantically involved in. It's awesome when they are, you know? But it's also awesome to have deep emotional bonds and friendships as well. But because it's coming out in love, I do feel like it is the um, the kind of soulmate love relationship that we're talking about. So, oh my goodness, he just jumped out right again. I was about to ask, how will we be able to recognize this person? How will Virgos know? And it just says, you'll just know because they're your soulmate. Wow. So I guess that's where we're supposed to end with the singles. Um, but I don't think that's fair. So <laughs> what we're going to do is the rest of you who don't, who are not fortunate enough to meet that person, um, what can you do to bring them along, bring them closer in your life, or also what's kind of expected this month for you? So let's see what we get here. The Virgo singles. Oh, stay focused on work, on hobbies, on things that make you, um, there are things that sometimes are repetitive, um, things that are hard work, but things that you love doing, okay? Stay focused on that. Um, so for those of you who are not going to receive this person into your life, it's quite possible that you have a blockage here. And the blockage is um, based on, remember when we had that 
five of cups in reverse, it's for those of you who are still focused on the lack, on the, oh, I don't have a partner, and you think about that and it bothers you to the point where you can't even sleep. It's a lot of anxiety. It's ruminating. It's thinking the same thoughts over and over and over and being thought in like a negative self-talk kind of speech thing. Now, here's the thing about law of attraction, right, where they say whatever thoughts that you have, you draw more into yourself, into your life. So, but people sometimes do it wrong and then they're like, why am I stuck? Um, and here's why. Because if you say, I don't want a cheater, the don't doesn't count. It's a qualifier. So you, what you're thinking of is a person who's a cheater instead of thinking of somebody who is loyal. I want someone who is loyal. I want someone who is honest. I want someone who is romantic. I want someone who is sexy, you know, something like that. So focus more positively on your wants to clear that blockage so that hopefully that person can come into your life a little bit sooner. Um, because the people who are coming into your life right now are not going to emotionally fulfill you until you do that, okay? So what's going on for a couple Virgos? This could be your sun, moon, or rising sign, which by the way, um, if you don't know, you can just Google your sun, moon, and rising sign. But also, um, you'll, it's a good idea sometimes to watch all of them because when they're general reading, certain things are going to hit spot on and then other things you're going to be like, that doesn't even make sense. But then also, sometimes things make sense right away when you watch the video and then halfway through the month, um, you watch it again and you go, that didn't make sense before, but now, holy moly, totally makes sense. Okay, coupled Virgos. Communicating honestly and clearly with your partner. That's fantastic. We all need better communication. Um, not having, like, you, the confusion is gone, okay? It's not like you have so many options that you don't know what to do. You're very clear and decisive about what it is that you want to do and the way you want to move forward. Now, the way that you're going to move forward, things are very untraditional at this time. It's not like, so for example, um, Perhaps we can call it traditional to get married first and then move in together, even though our culture is changing, right? So, but maybe you'll move in together before you get married, something like that. Or having a baby out of wedlock, stuff like that. Um, it's Right now, it still doesn't feel like the world is complete, like something is missing in your relationship. Now, for a lot of people, they will say, oh, well, we need a child, or we needed this, or we needed that. We need to buy a house so we can put down roots. Maybe it's not even that serious. But it's like some of you are feeling that there's still something else that you want to achieve or have until, you know, your world world is complete. For some of you, it's just like maybe work-related. Like, hey, I just want to be more successful first or things like that. Um, it seems like for a lot of you, it has to do with a lack of movement towards stability in the day-to-day -day life um, and then also feeling trapped. So maybe some of you are um, stuck in a job or you're stuck in a location. Maybe you want to move somewhere and your partner's like, uh, I like living here or I can't leave my job or something like that. There's a lot of stuckness and again that same energy where it's like you can really think about things and see them clearly, but it's like you're refusing to look at it because you know that it hurts. So what's your advice then, Virgo couples, for those of you who are going through this? Your luck's about to change. Things are about to go in your favor. So good. Have the positive thoughts. Um, keep just trusting that that's true. And then don't rest. Take the actions. Um, when you see that window of opportunity, when you're like, oh my gosh, my luck is changing, um, take that opportunity and, and go with it because luck is, I mean, it's a wheel, right? It's going to spin. It's going to turn. So one minute you're up with your luck, the next minute you're down. And it's the same thing with that world card. It's like sometimes you're not entirely happy and you don't have everything you want, but then before you know it, you have everything you want and then you're like didn't appreciate it enough and express enough gratitude and then now you're like, oh man, remember when that was so awesome? It says to be um, that, that your, your communication though is going to be pretty good with your partner this month. When it's this way, it's like arguments and not really listening to each other. You're listening to each other better, better than you have in a long time. Maybe in, in the last five months or the last five years, the last five weeks, somehow you figured out how to be better listeners. Now, the trouble with this being in reverse is that perhaps this time you don't want the same thing, whereas before you wanted the same thing, you just had a different opinion on how to get there. But at least you're communicating better because it's going to solve half of the issues and it's going to 
yeah, world card in reverse again, though. <laughs> so it's just like, ah, uh, you want different things right now. And I don't mean that as like maybe wanting to be together. That could be the case. Maybe you both want to, one of you wants to stay together, the other one wants to break up. But it could just be other things here as well. Now, a couple cards jumped out. It feels like more like with your moving, with where you live, with your job, that sort of stuff, where that's what's going to make you happy and make you feel stable and comfortable in your environment. That's where the disagreement is. And that's where you want things that are different. Um, and I think that's also why you're not feeling super confident. And if you're not feeling confident and sexy, you might not be having a very good sex life um, this month with them. It might be lacking passion. You might not be in the mood. How do we fix this? Remember that they're your soulmate. Try to connect emotionally on a very deep level. Um, try to be romantic with them. You know, offer them love even though you're not on the same page right now. Um, even when you're not feeling particularly in control, when you're not feeling, you know, like the emperor, like the like the wisest, most powerful person, you do have power. Um, you have the power to show them love. And then once you do that, when you go and do things and um, that are right for you, they take them a little better, right? It's like, what is that saying that people have? That it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission. I would never advocate for someone to do that, but if you do that... Um, Make sure you show them love first. I mean, you have to do what's right for you, right? You have to. So you really have to connect on that emotional level. Um, it's saying that this challenge might last a little bit longer than a month for you. And I hate to tell you that, but I never lied to you. So it's the truth. Um, but you're not crazy for feeling the way that you feel. So I hope that that's helpful. If you would like a personal reading... All of my contact information is below in the description box. But then also, um, if I probably put out like three or four videos a month for everybody, for all the signs. But if that's not enough, we have daily cards on the Facebook and Instagram pages. And so if you like the Facebook page, those will just pop up in your feed every day. And love and light. Bye.